Just like in grasslands, fire is an important process in the forest ecosystem. Historically in Oklahoma, we have uh, accounts of early travelers even back in the 1700s of what they observed. We've also got old photographs around the turn of the century, so we have a pretty good idea of what the forest looked like. Without fire, a deep layer of litter forms on the ground, keeping herbaceous plants from sprouting. Woody plants dominate. Very little herbaceous forage is available for wildlife and livestock to eat. The trees become crowded and their growth is reduced due to the competition for nutrients, sunlight, and space. The canopy is closed, allowing very little sunlight to reach the forest floor. This area has been burned with prescribed fire every four years for the past 30 years. One of the main reasons for these burns is to reduce the intensity of wildfires and improve wildlife habitat. The reduced leaf litter and increase in sunlight allows the number of herbaceous plants to increase. This area has a four-year fire frequency as well, but to help reclaim this site faster, marketable pines were harvested and hardwoods thinned with herbicide. Many times prescribed fire alone just doesn't get the intensity of it because we've let this country go so long without fire in it. So we may have to supplement that with some type of herbicide or possibly some kind of mechanical method to speed up that process so that we can achieve our goals and objectives on what we're wanting with the fire. Uh, in areas like these forested areas there is a possibility that the mechanical method could be timber harvest whereas you could harvest hardwoods or harvest the, the softwoods or the pines depending upon timber markets and utilize that along with fire to achieve your goals and objectives. Following the initial thinning and fire, the forest is opened up, leaving a few large trees, a mid-story and an understory, but with regeneration of shortleaf pines and hardwoods. This type of management would benefit browsing animals such as white-tailed deer. This three-year fire frequency site has more grasses, forbs, and legumes available than the four-year frequency burn. Tree regeneration is limited, and most re-sprouting trees and shrubs are a shorter stature. A two- to three-year burn frequency creates a good habitat for wildlife species requiring woody shrubs. In this area, the marketable pines were harvested, the hardwoods were thinned, and fire was applied every two years. The canopy is much more open, with even fewer mid-story trees present. Smaller trees and shrubs in the understory are suppressed by fire. Substantially more grass covers this site than the three- and four-year burn sites. This area is burned annually. Only a few of the larger trees survive the annual fires. Grasses dominate, making this treatment desirable for livestock production. Here, None of the pines were harvested. Half of the hardwoods were thinned with herbicide and then burned annually. This pine savanna treatment recreates the forest composition that historically existed in Oklahoma and other areas in the southeastern United States. The large pines form a very open canopy while grasses and other herbaceous plants dominate the understory. The midstory is practically non-existent due to the annual fires. If regeneration of pines is desired in this treatment, landowners can stop burning for three to five years to allow the seedling pines to establish. Similar to the pine savanna treatment, the oak savanna is burned annually with the pines being harvested. The overstory is very open with the understory dominated by grasses and forbs. All the other re-sprouting woody plants have been kept short in stature due to the annual fires. The midstory is non-existent, and although there is fire damage, some of the oaks remain. The oak savanna and the pine savanna were two habitat types that were very common historically. Even today, the public actually prefers those. They like the looks of them, and they accommodate a wild, wide range of, of uh, wildlife, and also it's very good for livestock production.